Hi there. It's day 65. That's a nice even number. It's exactly 300 days left in our Through the Bible in One Year. We are on number 26 and 27 today. Let's jump over there and we'll get into it. <clears throat> let's get a little let's get a little smaller here what do you think I don't know census of the new generation now remember the old generation were not going to go into the new land because they just did too many stupid things after the plague the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel from 20 years old and upward by their father's houses, all in Israel who were able to go to war. Huh? 20 years and up. And Moses and Eleazar, the priest, spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people from 20 years old and upward. As the Lord commanded Moses, the people of Israel who came out of the land in Egypt were, colon, Reuben, firstborn of Israel, the son of This is going to be a hundred names that I can't pronounce, so we're going to skip over most of them. Okay? If you want to read them exactly, you can go to Numbers 26 and 27, and you can highlight them. Because I'm... Okay, Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, Hanok, clan of the Hanites, the Palu, the Palites, and Hezron, the clan of Hezrites, of the Kanban, and the clan of the Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites. And those listed were 43,730. I just want the numbers, okay? And the sons of Pelah, Wibah, Baalab, Nebab, Nathan, Abram, Mises, the Dath, and Abram, chains and congregation who contended against Moses and Aaron and the company of Korah when they contended against the Lord. And the Lord opened his mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a warning. But the sons of Korah did not die. Yeah. The sons of Simeon, according to their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of Nemuel, the Jemuel, and the clan of Jemites, and the Jacob, and the clan of the Jenites, and the Zerah, the clan of the Zeharites, and Shul, the clan of the Shulites. These are the clans of the Simeites, 22,200. Remember, these are just men 20 years and older. The sons of Gad, according to their sons, of Zaphon, and the clan of the Zephonites, and Haggai, and the clan of the Haggites, Shuni, the clan of the Shunites, and Osni, the clan of the Osnites, and Eri, the clan of the Erites, and Era, the clan of the Eridites, and Erela, the clan of the Erela, I see, are the clans of the sons of Gad, as they were listed, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan. Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of, of Judah, and according to their clans, are Shelah, the clan of Sinanite, Perez, the clan of Perez, Zerah, the clan of Zerahites. <clears throat> and the sons of Perez were Hezron, the clan of Hezronites, Hamel, the clan of Hamelites, and these are the clans of Judah, as they were listed, 76,500. <clears throat> the sons of Ishakar, according to their clans, and then all these clans, the clans of Ishakar, as were listed, were 64,300. Sons of Zebulon, and their clans, the Zebulonites were listed, so I'm skipping over all these names, as 60,500. That's a lot of people, huh? The sons of Joseph, according to their clan, Manasseh, Ephraim, the sons of Manasseh, Maker, clan of Manan, and Manan, the father of Gilead, Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites. He is the sons of Gilead. <laughs> of the Ezra, the clan of the Lezerites, Helikites, Helikite, and all these clans. And clans of Manasseh listed were 52,700. Man, any one of these could have been a nation unto its own, huh? These are the sons of Ephraim. According to their clans, of Suthlin, of Suthlin, the clan of Suthites, Bachelor, Bachelorites, Tehan, Tehites, these are the sons of Shu, I don't know what that is, Aaron and Aaron, the clan of Aaronites, clans of sons of Ephraim were listed as 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph, according to their clans. Okay. The sons of Benjamin, according to their clans. These are the sons of Benjamin, according to their clans, their list were 45,600. The sons of Dan, according to their clans, were listed as 64,400. The son of Asher, according to their clans, and all these people, Asher, 
There are the clans of the sons of Asher were listed as 53,400. The sons of Nepali are quoted to their clans in Jaseel and all these people. These are the clans of Nephali, according to their clans, were listed as 45,400. This was a list of the people of Israel, 601,730. These are just men, 20 years to like 45 years, okay? Not the old men, not the kids, not the wives. So you could probably more than triple that number if you wanted all the actual people, okay? But they never count the people for some reason, just the men. He wanted to know how big of an army he could build, okay? The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Among these, the land shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance. To a small tribe you shall give an, a small inheritance. Every tribe shall be given its inheritance in proportion to its list. But the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. Their, their inheritance shall be divided according to lot according to the lot between larger and smaller. This is a list of the Levites according to their clans, Gershon. Oh, here we go. Gershon. And the Levites, remember, they were separate. They were out separate because they belonged to the Lord and they took care of the tent and all that stuff. Okay. So these are the, this was the, a separate one of the Levites. Clan of Gershonites and the people and clan of the Maronites, the Levi, Lebanites, Malahi, Mushites, Korah, Korah Heights, <laughs> Korath, Abram's wife, daughter of Levi, born Levi in Egypt, born Abram, the son of Moses, and Miriam, their sister. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt, and she bore to Amr Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, their sister. Remember, Aaron was Moses' brother, and he died here a few chapters back. Before, and he was born before Moses. And to Aaron were born Nahab, Bilabu, Elizar, Ethamar, but Nahabu and Ibababu, Ibabihu, died when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord. Those listed were 23,000, every male from a month old and upward, for they were not listed among the people of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. Wow. They belong to the Lord. These are those. These are those listed by Moses, Elias, other priests who listed the people of Israel in the plains of Moab and the Jordan to Jericho. But among these, there was not one of those listed by Moses and Aaron the priest who had listed the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said to them, They shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left, except Caleb, the son of Jepupanah, Jepup, yeah, right, and Joshua, the son of Nun. They were all gone. See? So you waited 40 years for the generation to go away. And they've all been replaced. Not one of them was left except Caleb and Joshua. The daughters of Zalopahad. Zalopahad. Wow. You get these names. They drew near to the daughters of Zalopahad, the son of Hephar, son of Gilead, son of Hunter, son of this, son of this, clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. Names of the daughters were. There's their names. Go ahead, say them. They stood before Moses and before Elias, other priests, and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of the meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no son? Give, us, give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Kind of makes sense, huh? Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right. You shall give them possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers, and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. Ooh, there you go. Women are getting some rights here, huh? And if he has no daughter, then you shall give him his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. 
And if his father has no brothers, and you give an inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it, and it shall be for the people of Israel a statute and a rule, as the Lord commanded Moses. Okay, Joshua to succeed Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up, go up into this mountain of Abram, and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was. Come and look at all the land and then I'm going to kill you. <laughs> wow. I like the way he said, you shall be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin in the congregation when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy as the waters before their eyes. At the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Canaan and Mary, but some wilderness was in. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them in and out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is, is the spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest invest him with some of your authority, that all of the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest in the whole congregation, and he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord had directed through Moses. Okay? So there you go. A new census. Everybody, remember when they first crossed the Red Sea and were in the desert, the Lord said to a census of everyone 20 years and older, and in this new census that they just did now, not one person from the old census was in the new census. They're all gone. God said none of them would see the promised land. God usually keeps his word, right? <laughs> so that's a, that's a interesting, you know. I just I just encapsulated this this <laughs> entire chapters and. A couple of sentences, but if you're really into the, I mean, a lot of people are really into the genealogy and the names and the numbers and the family trees and all that. I never was. Okay, it makes my brain go kind of crazy. So, but if you are, numbers is the place to find all that out. Okay, yeah? if you remember, one of the, one of the apostles was very much, and. And he wrote the genealogy from Jesus all the way back to Adam. Okay, every name. <laughs> that would take a lot of studying. Yeah. So what's happening tomorrow? Daily offering, Sabbath offering, monthly offering, Passover offering, offerings at the Feast of the Weeks, offerings at the Feast of the Trumpets, offerings for the Day of the Dome, offerings for the Feast of the Booths. Well, men in vows, women in vows. Well, well they can't all be exciting chapters, huh? So that's what's going on tomorrow. So, there you have it. Through the Bible in one year, day 65. And we'd be down to day 66. With 300 days left. And we're still in numbers. We'll be here for a while. Like I said, they can't all be exciting, but we want to go through the entire Bible in a year. So, that'll be fun. Catch up on any you might have missed. They're all... They're all in lists on both YouTube and Rumble. They're in lists on there. You know, until next time, be humble. Keep reading. Go out and vote if it's your time to vote today. See you later.